Hi friends, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping in. If you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you as a subby friend. And today for our video, we are gonna be making this super cute Disney, the Nightmare, Be the Nightmare Before Christmas glow-in-the-dark Halloween foam grip and I love how this turned out these are just so much fun really really adorable and they're so easy I love it so if you guys like the video please give it a big thumbs up if you haven't already done so hit the subscribe button i'd love to have you as a subby friend and stay tuned and we are going to make this guy all right for this project i'm going to be using my mickey shaped mold i'm going to be using two part epoxy so i'm using the hefty the hippie crafter epoxy part a and part b at equal parts i have my glow in the dark glitter this came from glitter chimp i mixed my epoxy using my epoxy mixer from hobby lobby it is phenomenal the biggest thing with your epoxy is making sure that you're mixing it correctly part a and part b and that you're mixing for the proper time i always mix for a minimum of four minutes a good mix is essential to having a good outcome and then i fill my mold i needed a little bit more so i just added a little bit more epoxy to it and then i'm gonna let this sit overnight and come back and finish it so now my mold is over. So I'm gonna put on it what I want. And you can use whatever it is that you want. So these are tattoos, they came from Amazon. And I'm also going to be using some UV resin. Now you can put your tattoos on or your decals, whatever you're gonna do, put it back in the mold and then add some more epoxy. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to finish my top off with UV resin because I have it and that's what I prefer to do. I'm also going to be using some embellishments from Dress It Up Buttons. They are the Nightmare Before Christmas. You can get them from the Dress It Up Button shop. You can get them from Amazon or you can get them from Walmart in store. Now I'm just going to find the pieces of my tattoo that I want to put on here. I want Oogie Boogie, that was the whole idea of this particular piece. And I'm just gonna find the different things that I want and I'm gonna set it up. Now I know that the tattoo is gonna have a little bit of a clear outline, especially the pieces that are white. So I'm gonna add in some other pieces and there's the little dog is in here. I'm going to add that because I know it's going to show up as like a shadow and that's going to be really cute. So these are the kinds of things that you just sort of, you know, look at and, you know, what do you want it to look like? And then additionally, I'm going to be using a foam grip that I got from Glitter Chimp and they used to be 55 cents they are up to 60 cents right now they're out of a lot of colors i did just recently reorder and all i could get was yellow orange and green they do normally have tons and tons of colors and but they are 60 cents a piece they're really good foam grips they last well they've got a good base on them so it makes them really easy to work with and if you want to put like your glitter and stuff directly on the base. It's a pretty decent sized base. That's why I buy them from there. Now, additionally, you will need something wet. I like to use a wet paper towel when it comes to my tattoos. So remember when you're cutting them out also that your tattoos, you're gonna be turning it 
over. So the tattoos also, they have a clear plastic sheet on top of them. Make sure you take that clear sheet off or they won't work. And then you turn them over on what you're putting them on. Put your wet paper towel on for just a minute and then pull them off. And now I'm gonna, I got my other little pieces here. There's the dog. I'm just going to decide where I want them. And then make sure that you dry this really well before you move on. So if you're gonna use epoxy or if you're gonna use UV resin to seal it, make sure that your pieces dry after putting on your tattoos. So I just stick mine under my UV lamp and let it get nice and dry for a few minutes before I go further. But you can dry it with, you know, a towel. Just make sure that it's something that isn't gonna leave lint on your project. So I'm just putting on the remaining pieces. And then of course, cover them with your towel, take them off and there we go. Just where I want it. So now I'm gonna move over and this is where, like I said, if you prefer or you don't have UV resin, you can put this right back in the mold and then just finish it over with your epoxy. Now I'm using my hard type UV resin from Resin Rockers. And this resin, I know I say it all the time, but you may have never seen a video before. This is the Resin Rockers hard type UV resin. This stuff is phenomenal. It gets hard just like epoxy. It leaves no stickiness whatsoever. And then my lamp that I got is from Amazon and it's a pretty decent UV um, lamp. I think I paid maybe 40 or so bucks for it. I don't remember. It's been a bit. And now I'm going to take my lighter and I'm just going to go over and get out any bubbles. Now, if you have this inside a mold, I would use a heat gun and not a lighter. I know a lot of people show using a torch or a lighter in their molds, but it will melt your molds and ruin your mold. A heat gun is better with molds. And then when I move this over, I touched it a little bit. So I just wanted to show you this, how you can take your lighter and just sort of clean it back up because not only does it get rid of bubbles, it also smooths out your UV resin. Then I had a little place in the center where I could like see a divot. So I just smoothed it out. And then when I take it out, I have my little embellishments. So again, these are from um, Dress It Up Buttons. So all I'm going to do is decide where I want them. There's a little button piece on the back. I just take a pair of scissors and snip that right off. And then again, using my hard type resin from Resin Rockers, I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of these and put them under and let them cure. And this is each time i go under the lamp it is a four minute cure under the lamp and yes it is okay to use the uv resin on top of the epoxy now if you were using only epoxy you could either you know put your embellishments on it you know when you do a top coat and just put them on right then and let it all kind of come together or you can finish it with epoxy and then still do this with UV resin or take a little bit more epoxy and put them over it. Of course that takes a little bit more time but that's okay. And here is my finished um, project. Now I'm going to put my phone grip on and once the phone grip is cured to the back of it and I pull it out, I will show you what it looks like in the dark so you can see the glow of the glow in the dark um, glitter. I love glow in the dark glitter. Glitter Chip has, um, not sponsored, they don't even know I exist other than sending me a box every time I turn around, but they have really good glitter. And this is, the they have lots of different colors of glow in the dark, so. So here's what it looks like, and I'm just going to kind of mess around until I realize, oh, wait, I need it super dark for you. So give it a second. There we go. And here it is, glow in the dark. 
so 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 cute and again our finished product listen i hope you guys liked it i hope it was helpful i hope you have a blessed day